We're going to go ahead and call the meeting to order. I apologize. We're running a minute or two late, and I'm sorry. Uh, we'll start with the uh, inv uh, Pledge of Allegiance and the invocation by Commissioner Patton, if you would. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our most gracious, loving Heavenly Father, we come before you this evening in a humble manner, asking your blessing upon us as we enter this meeting. May you bless us with wisdom and patience that so we may discuss and make the decisions of betterment of our community. And we always try to give you the glory in all that we do. In Christ's name, amen. Hmm? I'd like to welcome everybody out tonight. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started off. First item of business is approval of minutes. Make a motion we approve the minutes from last meeting. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify by the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next is the bills. I move to pay all bills. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Old business. First item is to approve the second reading of the 2019 and 20 budget. And I know Larry's giving everybody the copies of any changes that were made from the first reading. And where's Larry? I'm I don't know where he is. I'll make the motion we can discuss it then. I move to approve the second reading. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? I'll wait for Larry to see if he does. I really don't know of any. It's I don't know okay. either. Larry, do you have any discussion on the budget? Yes. We've, we've already made the motion and the second to approve the amended, or the not the amended, but second the reading. second reading of the changed. Yes, uh, I'll do some of the highlights. Okay. Uh, one thing that we're going to look at for this year is going to be a new SUV for the police department side. That's my alcohol tax money that we all have to implement it. Uh, one thing is going to be A.B. Conway's raise. Uh, it's going to go from $350 a month to $500. He has been at the $350 range for, I know, 27 years. Uh, we are going to do a $20,000 dirt work project at the baseball park. Uh, and, and, and we're working with a well, the league. You know, they're going to put in some for that as well. Uh, we've got in the budget, we're going to try to do a building extension at the amphitheater uh, for the storage. Uh, we're going to buy two lawnmowers, uh, one for the park and one for the cemetery. We're hoping that one of the mowers will come from southern states, be a local business here in the county. Uh, we also are looking to do maybe a little bit of dirt work at the amphitheater up on the hill, take out some brush and fill some dirt down below for some extra seating. Uh, our black topping will come from a transfer from the general fund of $60,000 and also $40,000 from economic assistance. So we'll have roughly $100,000 we can do black topping. <coughs> Sandy and I will get some streets ready uh, here in the near future. Uh, sanitation department, I've got in the budget for a $1 raise per customer uh, in town and out of town. Uh, you know, the spring and fall pickup days we do cost us between fifteen and two thousand dollars just in tipping fees extra. Well, and I, that's something we might have to look at too because you drive through town on those days and, you know, I'm, I'm, I have a feeling eight mattresses didn't come from one house. Exactly. Exactly. I'm afraid we're having a lot of people bring stuff in. Yep. Uh, also in the budget, is on the road department side, is we're going to, I've got it funded to do the whole sidewalk repair of $12,500 and some change. <coughs> Uh, the water water department, I've got in here for a, a $1 raise uh, on a minimum bill and a 4% increase on all of our all the breakdowns. That's going to help fund a new well that we're going to try to drill. Uh, the well is going to cost roughly $60,000 just for the drilling portion. It's also in the budget. Uh, a new truck for the water department. The wastewater side, we're looking at new software for the water reading, meter reading system. And also, we're going to get a little more aggressive on paying our KIA loan. Uh, 
the Oak County Regional Wastewater has been gracious to give us grants to help produce a bill. Rather than letting money pile up and not doing nothing with it, we're going to be a little more proactive on getting the payoff center. Uh, we also are going to hire, first time ever, a fire chief. Uh, and we also need to have the pay included in there for Amy as well. I think it was thirty, thirty-four thousand dollars plus up to eight thousand commission. Twenty twenty. Okay, she just needs a wording correct. Mm -hmm. And that is our 2019-2020 budget in a nutshell on the upgrades we're looking at. I noticed that Michael Atkins is still listed. He is listed on 2018-19, but not 19-20. If you go to the far right column, there's nothing there for him. Gotcha, gotcha. I just didn't look far enough. Sorry about that, Larry. Any questions? No, I'm not going to break down the money on the water side. Well, we're going to have to throw that in at the end to have a first reading for the sanitation increase in the water. Okay. What was that on the end? There's a percent. Oh, just, just once in the minutes, what that 20% was on the commission on the calls. In, we bring in. Okay. It just has to be in the minutes where she can have something to That's go back up and back up. Gotcha. Huh? That's one thing the officers will pull out. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. Those in favor, saying 5-5. Uh, uh, opposed, saying? Yeah. Motion passes. I see you just got a That's what we just voted on. <laughs> Next slide is approve the second reading of the cable franchise ordinance. Which, I'll make a motion we accept the second reading. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, uh, same. Motion passes. Next item is the second reading of the golf cart ordinance. I make a motion that we approve the second reading. Captain, can we have a question on the well, let me, Do we need to do a second first? Then? Right. I'll make that. Yeah, I was going to say that. Okay. You've got a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Yeah, I got a question. Uh, there's not a golf cart in the city that will fit this. How are we going to enforce this? Good they come by my house all the time, and I stopped one the other day. I said, can I talk to you a minute? And he said, yeah. I mean, he has a nice golf cart. And I went through and told him this is state law. We don't really have much choice in this. And there's no way. I mean, when you add in all the stuff, he'd have to spend probably two more thousand dollars to put on his golf cart, what's going to be on here to add it on, not to get it maybe right at the beginning, but add it on. It, cre we, it creates more of a problem for a police department with everything they've got to do on top of it. Yeah. Yeah, because you could run those golf carts down every day. I mean, they're everywhere. They're, and there's more and more of them every day. But the thing of it is, even the ones that were out there every day weren't coming and getting their permits like they're yeah. supposed to. The thing is, we don't have a choice. We have to do this. Don't they law. Yeah. And I, I like Kevin with it. They might well buy a little smart car for to do this. Yeah. Well, my biggest problem with the golf carts is the ones that drive up down on the sidewalk. Out on Main Street. I still see a lot of kids driving. And that's the only thing I have. Well, I don't mind that's, that's where, where the kids are at. Especially in the daytime. But when there's a kid driving them and there's three kids on there with them, and I'm thinking, man, they have a wreck. It's going to be bad, bad, bad. Why don't we do it? We, what did we, you we basically did. Yeah, if you, if you go by this, we, we pretty much did. did. Yeah. I mean, because if you stopped one now and you said, Congratulations, you, if, you, if we find them for that, are there a fine for this stuff? Yeah, it's, it's in our. Yeah. If you start finding them for all these. Yeah. Yeah, if you go by KRS regulations, they're going to be in big trouble. It's going to be a big fine. You know, but if not proper. Don't have insurance. Well, they don't have to be. No, they don't have to be insurance. Yeah, they have to have insurance. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, they have to have insurance. If they don't have all this stuff, we use it. We use it to tow a vehicle. Yeah. Well, I mean, and there's no stop. You know, so none of them have stop lights. I mean, turn, turn signals. signals. Very few of them have seat belts. Exterior mounted mirrors, so you can look in the back. And the internal mirror to also parking brake. 
a seat belt assembly. Most of them don't have seat belt assemblies. Mm -hmm. And then a horn. And very few of them have horns. I have, I did, the guy I stopped did have a horn. On well, the only thing we can either do is just pass this and try to get, uh, do it our, out long on our street. We can do that. Yeah. And that may what be what ends up coming down to. Because, I, like I said, there's not one in the county that, or not one in the city, I don't think, that you'll, that'll pass that. And that's no, no disrespect to you guys. I'm just saying I know the ones that are up running up and down the highway and they're not legally right. So. I, I I hate it, but it's the law. I mean, we can't help we can't help but pass this. We either allow them or we don't allow them. Yep. Uh, we, will, we will take care of it. Yeah. And don't be ready. Yeah, I know. It's going to cause a thing. Well. But we will take care of it. Like but I say. It's the law. We can't help it. I mean, it's if they come down here, we just say it's the state law. Can't help it. I was of that. I had got my cousin or two years. They told me. They were really pumping me up when I first started. And I hate it, but it's, it's something you have to do. I mean, we don't have real much choice on this. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify aye. Uh, aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Yeah, we did. Get the game, huh? Get the game. I guess I was thinking about something else. <laughs> okay, under new business, the uh, first item is to approve the first reading of the Water Protection Program Ordinance Amendment. Yeah, we have learned uh, that if the city of Kevin Davis calls us, he has water line protection and says that he has a leak. And were we in turn that we thought we called like it's plumbing to go verify and fix it, we have learned that if he does not have a leak, there is a uh, surcharge, not a surcharge, but there, fee. Yeah, there's there's a fee for it. If there's no leak, that hundred ten dollar charge comes back to okay. us. Gotcha. So, and I, I know it's kind of, I don't know how, how it needs to be worried if it can be done, but. If the homeowner calls us and has a leak and we call Likens, should that fee go to them automatically? I mean, they're carrying insurance. Are, are, are we to go verify it first? Because basically what we can do is we can look at the meter and say, yes, it's been in, and we can, we can check from the meter to the house. We don't know which way of what their water service lines run. You know, we, we can walk through the yard to see if we find a wet spot or not. I just don't want that hundred ten dollar charge to come back on the city every time somebody thinks they have a leak. Every, yeah. And, I, and after I stop and think, about it, I told Wallace to put it on the uh, on the agenda. I'm not thinking about it. I don't know that that's fair to the consumer either because they have the insurance to cover this. Yes. Well, how did it work before? Well, we did. We went on the side of it. We we was on the side of if they had a leak, they called us and we told them to report it on to Aqualine. I'm assuming they took the bill. They filled Aqualine. Now, what Aqualine did with it, I have no idea. They passed it on or just paid it. Have, did you ask Likens? No, I did not. Have that happened in the past? I, I would say Aqualine paid it because they were the third party. But it, it wouldn't take too many calls to rack up a pretty good, healthy bill and not be a leak. Mm -hmm. Help me, help me. But you're, you're saying that there, there is a report of a leak that turns out not to be a leak. Uh -huh. and, the, and the charge comes from where? It comes from Lyons. Well, service call. Uh, well, the, the, the <coughs> simplest thing to do is to, is to amend the ordinance and simply say that so it's reported if, the, if it is not verified uh, and if some fee is um, incurred um, uh, from Likens, then it's, it's passed on to the landowner that the there's a leak. That's it. Do you want to see what the wording is? Yeah, there it is right there. <laughs> if the wording needs to be changed. I mean, we, we can go and verify to a certain extent, but not knowing for sure how the water line is, is running from the meter to the house. Well, if, uh, so you think that's good enough? It's right here. And they have home. The mayor walks down. If the meter's running, that means the water's going somewhere. Okay. 
But see, most times when, when you say someone has a leak, they say, yeah, I've got a leak in the yard, and I got aqua line, I'm like it up there to, to fix it. But if he goes up there and verifies it's not leaking, they're not automatically hundred ten dollar charge. But this thing we've got here, if we pass this, it states that it's the responsibility. If it's not actually a leak, they're responsible for it, not us. But this is an amendment right now in amendment form. Right, it hadn't passed it. it it's not been, wasn't in the first reading. So you're saying because they have the insurance, mm -hmm. should that service fee be? I just question who who is responsible for that service fee? It's just added to the landowner's bill, ultimately. You know, it's lichens. You know, automatically that when they started this project, they was getting paid by Aqualine. Now he's going to be dealing with a third party. You know, back to the homeowner. I'm trying to get his money. Why could it not be added to the bill? Just added to the, the city paid uh, lichens, but just added back to the water bill. Right. If y'all y'all prove yeah, that'd be fine. That sounds like a good idea, but I would hate for someone they're going to have to pay for it eventually. I don't know. I just hate to add one hundred and ten dollars to someone's water bill, and maybe they can't pay it by the day that it's due, and their water get cut off because of that. It's kind of a catch twenty two. It's Probably a catch maybe. a whole bunch of them. Well, see, when I first thought of it, I thought, you know, we don't need to be paying this, and I still don't think we need to be paying it. But when I stop and stop and try to let it sink in, you know, they 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 think they've got an insurance policy to cover this. But here, here again, if it's not a leak between the meter and the house, there's another fee. Yeah. <coughs> and, and and what's what's even worse is if Likens goes out and it's not verified a leak for them to fix, there's a hundred ten dollar charge. And when we call Likens to come back again, there's another hundred ten dollar charge. Hmm. I I just don't see that that's going to be that. Prevalent. I can't. Why would you call somebody and tell them you think you got a leak when you don't see any water anywhere at all? You'd be surprised. We had one as much as what brought this up. Yeah. We they had two in the last, last two weeks. They did not tell really? me where that leak was at all, but they had a leak. Yeah, we got aquiline, we got a leak, had to come and fix it, you know. Yeah. Because their water was <coughs> over, over, over for a month or something. Is that why they thought they were The meter meter was, the was thinning, but we had no way to determine if it was everyone else inside the house. Or How many times have you had a year? We don't know. We just started this. This happened twice in the last two weeks. That's what kind of brought this on. So was the leak found? One was, one was not. But now we went and checked our, ourselves first. <coughs> but the one that wasn't found, <coughs> was their meter spinning like there was one somewhere? Yes. So that is an indication that it's a toilet, hot water heater, ice maker under the trailer, whatever, yeah. you know. See, to me, this would be a deterrent to make sure you check all that stuff first because so many people, it's just going to be easier to call you to come fix it. That's what they do. Then check to see if their water, their toilet's working or running. Or... I mean, if, if, if this is passed and they call and say they have a leak, you know, then we can say, hey, did you know that if we get lichens up there, they verify it's not a leak, there is a fee that you have to pay, you know, for a service call. Yeah. I think as long as they were aware of that. Then this would be fine to pass them. Yeah. If they would need you would need to know something because here you you don't want you don't want people to think that at the last minute they're thinking they've got something that they don't have. Mm -hmm. But then again I can understand that if you start getting a lot of unique calls, let's just use it like that. For the most part, when somebody calls and they have a high water bill, they'll call and they say, yep, I've got a wet spot in the yard. So when we go up there, we can verify it really easily. Okay. But there's always that one or two. Kind of hard to tell this year where the wet spots are. <laughs> no, that's, right. that's right. Gosh, this one, that's... I can see good both ways, you know. Goodwill to people not to have this thing, but we can't afford not to have something like this. Well, what if we changed it to the 
a second time. You talk about the city guys go out on the first time and try to determine if it's or isn't. You know, when, they, when they call us, we try we try to send someone from the city to verify. Mm -hmm. But but here again, and, and we can talk to them. <coughs> you know, Joe can test for this. We know where the water meter is. We just don't know where it goes in the house. You know, we can walk a straight line, or we can ask them, but we may not be able to find a soft spot or a wet spot in the yard. You can't always tell. The meter may not be spinning like it should, uh, would uh, normally. Yeah. You know, if if that doesn't appease the homeowner, then we can say, well. We can call Likens on up here to, to find the leak, but the amended ordinance says that if they do not find one, there's a service call that you're responsible to pay. I think that's fair enough. Yeah. Well, what was the circumstance of the one that reported it didn't have a leak? What, what was the circumstance? I think she was close to the bill payment time. She came on a Friday and a bill was due on the, or the late charges were going on Monday or Tuesday. And she said, well, my bill's so high because I had a leak. I think that's like there was an excuse, huh? Yeah. Well, but she would have had that bill for what three weeks before she bothered to tell you there was a leak. Yeah. I have no problem with that one. Yeah, if she first got her bills like, oh, I've got a leak and call, yeah. that's one thing. But to wait three weeks and nah, yeah, sorry. She, she's one of them that struggles to pay, and you know, I just don't want to. Well, and another incurred cost on. But that still comes up if she truly thought she had a leak and she waited three weeks to. It's her problem. Because if she does have a leak, then. Oh, she had a leak, but it wasn't a 20-meter. Because she's going to have another high water bill. Yeah, because there'll be, no, when, by the time it's read again, there'll be, you know, three weeks of... Yep. I think as long as people know what's front, what, what's going to happen, I think that, that needs to be some way that, mm -hmm. that needs to be that they know up front. That, uh, you know, it... That will be taken care of if it is our responsibility. I'm just afraid if it's not addressed, we will have a problem somewhere in the in the future. Right. Yeah, it does. It definitely needs to be an upfront. Mm -hmm. You never get the people to understand that. I can test that. Even if you want to door to door, there's going to be half a dozen or fifty. And more than likely, they would say, "Oh, that'll be fine because I know I've got one." Yeah, yeah. I mean, and then they don't. And then I did that them. for a lot of years, y'all. You know. Well, the key is the documentation. If if it's you, you've got to document that they've been told, and go from there because then then you've got something to stand on. It's not he said, she said, and I, and I think that that's a serious thing. Now. You know, I still know that, you know, some people just don't care. I mean, that's a fact. And some people will never understand. And that's a fact. I know that. But from from our standpoint, I think that you need to, uh, it needs to be documented that they were aware of it up front. And as long as, as, long as that's done, I don't see an issue with it. And I would say eight out of ten people, take Joe for instance, if, if he thought he had a leak and we went down there and we told him, so, you know, we can't find it. But if Likens comes down here and looks for it and, and the leak's not on us, it's on you, you'll have to pay a service fee. And Joe would probably say, okay, it's fine. Why well, he's here, he can go ahead and fix where it's at. But you'll have that one or two people up 10 that'll say, no. Then you have to turn the water off. Yep. <clears throat> we kind of thought this would be a, a start of trying to protect Everybody. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, like I say, from my standpoint, as long as it's, it's documented that we've told them up front, and whether they agree or disagree, that I mean, you're still trying to take care of them, right? and uh, you're going to have somebody you're going to make mad regardless. You can't help that. If, That's if, just if, life. If, if they don't like it, I mean, they can get off the line. Yeah. I mean, they, they can, if it's at a study time. So right. when you tell them that, do you have them sign something? Well, a lot of times it's going to be a phone call. You don't have to come in. I think she's kind of her bill. You know, we, we can tell her, and, and we can you know, we can make them sign something. You know, 
<coughs> somewhat not be able yeah. to come into sign. It's still so the thing it is, if somebody goes out there from the city and can't find it, you can have it signed then. It's yeah. like yeah. Yeah. we weren't able to find it, but the homeowner still chooses to have. Okay, so we will need a motion and if we're going to approve this. I'll make a motion that we approve this. <coughs> Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify the aye. 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 Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item is Clerk's Fall Conference. Mary wants to go learn. Yes, Ms. Lillian Paducah. Um, actually, I haven't been for two years, but it's always falls and it's my deep neck and my water bill. Uh, this time it's actually falling the right time. Um, August the 21st through 23rd. And I'm big on the training. I think it's a I great thing. I motion that we send Mary to the clerk's conference. And I'd like to say. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify aye. Aye. Opposed, same. <coughs> motion passes. And, and Mary, I pretty, I'm glad you catch that because I say Elisa went for an uh, ABC training last week. And, of course, this is something I know Mary's been before. And I do know because she and I have talked about it being – I guess the last one you went to was in Norsboro, wasn't it? It was one reason you actually got to go because it was so close. Yeah. And you could yeah. <coughs> come back and forth. So that works out really well. Okay, Visher comments. Okay. Joe? No. No, anything from? Quite a bunch of <laughs> Mike? I uh, was learning how to kind of discuss something we're looking at, which will be later on this fall. Just so y'all give, give them kind of heads up there. Uh, we're wanting to uh, put in a shooting range down at the old sugar plant. Uh, and of course, we have to wait for the corn out and all that. And uh, Larry and I have been talking about maybe something might be to discuss with David for us the legal part, legality of it. Uh, insurance by Insurance and such as that. Of course, now we go to the county park over there and the sheriff's department is building a new range. So, probably the city, the county park, is probably going to eliminate going there and shoot. At the park. For anybody? For everybody? Well, I, or, I don't know. They might still let people go shoot. Uh, but there's, there's, of course, anywhere you go, there's a lot of liability anywhere you go. But just like over there, you know, a lot of times there's people back there running their dogs. Sometimes you don't, you know, of course, they've got a bird. Still, you got the chicken house that's over behind it. We just like. Well, their walking trail comes down around behind it too, doesn't it? We just, it won't be a, it'd be right minimal expense on there to probably build a thing. Wow. <laughs> you're gonna set, some, you be you're set some glass bottles on some straw, straw bales. <laughs> yeah, we can do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good with that. Big uh, decisions, probably. <laughs> but it's just something y'all be aware of. Okay. But everything else is good. Would that be an open for the public thing or just for you guys? It'd be just for us and possibly uh, maybe Harper if they need to shoot, you, possibly for them. Okay. Uh, it's just something we probably need to discuss with Amy about that. And I'll get with you. We got the answer. I kind of want to go down there and shoot. Am I not allowed? Nope. Nope. <laughs> I can't prove this. You <laughs> we can't become an honorary. Deputy of yours? Yeah, yeah, you can. You <laughs> can bring up the golf cart. He's out. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm actually at the point where I'm thinking about we should just do away with no, it. Here. Come on down. Yeah. I said we've done it these ways. It's done away with. Because they're not going to pass. They're not going to pass. They have to. Well, I'm, I don't want to bring Barney. I just want to pack one bullet. <laughs> James, you anything? I like that. Stand it. I don't, because everything that I have would have to do with bitches, and they've all been full of water right now. Don't know so if they're there or not. Goes down. We we'll talk ditches. We've got everything on Saturday pretty much clean. Uh, we'll I don't know how you had the opportunity. Well, we ain't been down there a month, doing anything in a month, because we're busy on other stuff now. Bruce Gold Robes, we've got a few places, and I think Furlan actually started kind of on the east side. Okay. We won't. We probably won't take back up on the ditch cleaning until 
falling motors here and in a couple of places. They mentioned me on Lafayette. So we done Lafayette for like one or two years. You mad didn't want to do anything, so we didn't. Didn't want you doing what? Clean Did ditching yep. in front of their house. Yep. And it wasn't terribly bad because it is terribly bad. It's just tough, you know. It wasn't. I know once we can we'll go ahead and talk ditches a little bit, but down on the oh the corner of Third and Madison, that probably needs some cleaning out because a lot of debris floats there and it'll block it up. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, there's a big old it's like a river that flows. From, from third back to actually from fourth back to third. There's mm -hmm. another one on uh, East Eighth Street. Right there before you go out city limits, you know that big tile that goes under there? Right. It's had problems with debris too. It might be something just, just to kind of keep an eye on and check. Uh, we started mowing streets and we, we got almost all of them and we had a mishap with the tractor so we got a new radiator order for it. So still he will actually, uh, but not on the driveway, ran the driveway, we'll get the crop out, we will push all down and hit the file and see if we got any insurance. And then the one ditch we talked about in Twin Hills. Yes, sir. Yes. Maybe after this concert weekend. Should I bring them up? Uh, yeah. well, the, the rain is just not going to uh, It's not been delivered. Okay. Well, I, I haven't seen it with that one. Okay. Well, I, yeah, I had not seen it with that until you go ahead. But, yeah. uh, right. uh, it's just like a car. Yeah, it is exactly. Yeah. That's it. I don't have one thing. Uh, we got a projected change in the officer for the rest of this year on the fire department uh that's like reflected in the minutes i'll give you the copy of this when i'm done uh but of course chief be david after july one plus charlie's assistant chief zach june 17th captain what june 17th after this week that's what i said didn't it? you said you said i mean one. david will take over yeah that's right june 17th uh cornbread is still there but this new one is trevor the new one yeah. trevor will be over Dixon will be the new officer on the, on the fire department. I thought we needed in the minutes. Do we need to approve that change in officers? Probably so. But I moved to accept the new slate of officers for the fire department. So I'll give you this list, Mary. Do you care to repeat that slate? Or I can just look at the You may see it. Second. Thank you. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. That's all I have. Maybe he just brought up something. He says that the insurance that covers the golf cart does not cover it on the city streets. Even if it's properly, their insurance will not cover it on the city streets. Some policies, that's definitely true. So do we need to make it just ban them? Uh, I, that might be the simplest way because I know nobody's going to pass it. This is not going to happen. It's just not. They're, they can't do it. It's just too expensive. If, you, if they already got an existing golf cart, it would cost more for them to redo it than to buy them a golf cart. Thanks. Do you think we is that something we should entertain to just do away with the golf carts in, in City of Beaverdale? I, I hate it, but I mean, I don't... But what happens, and I'm just hypothetical here, if someone has one that can meet all this stuff... <clears throat> Eventually, they'll start manufacturing. But they still them. will. They will. They will. They, their insurance still will not cover them on the city streets. Will it? Well, no. There are there, there are certain policies. I don't think it's most policies actually. But we're talking about premises policies that extend and cover activities of of people that live in that house and on that property, and and for many things they cover actually off the premises in certain situations. It's not unusual for them to be coverage. It's not unusual for them to be coverage for golf cart related offenses. But recently, certain companies have started to put exclusions in there with regard to golf carts because, because there are so many golf carts. Yeah. And the problem with the, the state statute, I'm not sure it's a problem, but, but you they, they basically have put the same, they've codified pretty much the same thing they've codified on vehicles, mm -hmm. horns, seat belts, seat belts yeah. mirrors. Yeah. All those things are codified for, for vehicles as well, and they serve as a basis for liability. By example, somebody's kid is operating a, um, 
a golf cart on City Street and got another kid or two in there with them. There's no seat belt. Something unforeseen happens. Then it becomes an issue uh, for the people that own that golf cart and that child lives within the home. And, and it's, a, it's, it's, I'm not sure that the legislature understood exactly what they were doing when he did it, but, but basically Imagine. they've codified for golf carts what they have on vehicles. And uh, my, my concern is that over time, more and more liability carriers are going to have that exclusion in their policy. And, and the average person out here, I mean, most of us have been around golf carts all of our life. And there's, I've never seen any of these things. There's, some of them have a horn now. And have headlights. I've seen them once with headlights. And, but never and some with headlights. But I've never seen a seat belt on one. Turn signals. Uh, there, well, there's a few now that have turn signals, and now there's a few that have that uh, have brake lights. Got brake lights. Well, they're starting to do that because of what's correct, going on with them. Correct. Yeah. There's more and more of them that that, that have them, uh, but but um, uh, it's it, it's it's a difficult situation because there's so many of the golf carts, and, and the other thing is golf carts last forever. Forever. Ever. Yeah. I mean, there are golf carts running around out here that are 20 years old and running just as good as they were when they were bought. Yep. So uh, it's a problem for the city because of an enforcement issue, but, but it's also a, a, a problem for the citizens. I mean, I've got one. I, most people have got one. And mine doesn't qualify. In some respects it does, but in most it doesn't. You know, I understand the situation. I understand <laughs> Kevin's. Uh, concerned, but I don't think we need to have a knee-jerk reaction tonight. Maybe we need to look at this because uh, this we're not the only city affected. But some other places, what they're doing, uh, and they maybe see what the uh, fallout could be from the citizens that have these on the road. When the police pull them over, they tell them, and then can revisit this in maybe 30, 60 days. Yeah, because the the thing of it is whether we have a golf cart ordinance or not even if we take one off and say they're not allowed we're still having to enforce the yeah, enforcement's the same right. enforce, but i mean we can exactly. before we ban uh, them we might want to just i, I agree i don't know about ban because to me we effectively have <clears throat> unless but now, but then it comes up if someone has a golf cart that can meet all this criteria i would hate to tell them you can't ride right, right, you can't man. use it there will be somebody that will fix one up to the standard. Yeah. Just yeah. to prove to you that can be done. Well, I mean, if you get a very nice UTF, with, you know, or UTV, I'm sorry, it has all that on. It has seat belts. It has turn signals. It has brake lights. It has all that. But you're talking about a twenty third, twenty thousand dollar, fifteen twenty thousand dollar vehicle. You're not talking about a golf cart you go over to one's world and pay three hundred bucks for and a thing. It still runs good. Don't look real good, but it still runs good. It's not going to have all that, and that's the difference. You're right. We, there are going to be people that are going to meet the criteria on this. And that's what I'm that, saying. I don't that think may, really be, that may be true. Them. We yeah. may just go ahead and not yeah. ban them. Just make sure that we... For, I because just, you're going to have a burden to, on the police for that. Well, but the, bur the burden's there anyway because if you see one out there, if, if we ban them and they see them out there, they've got to stop them. If you don't ban them, they're going to have to stop yeah. them to see if they meet the criteria. So... Hey, do y'all ever stop them very often? Do y'all stop them very often? Sometimes I see some of them, see kids on you know, take kids on, we may stop them and, you know, follow them to the house and say, hey, you can't be down here. Their parents are like, or grandparents are like, oh, I didn't know they went over there. <laughs> oh, they just walked in right here by the house. We're getting what? a lot of people coming in and out of the county now. Though. Yeah. Do what? We're getting a lot of people coming in and out of the county. I stopped one of the night after the cops at about 2 in the morning. That was coming down Rochester Road. 2 in the morning? Yeah, he went to pick up a lady friend at the uh, Beaverdale Village over here. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, they have, they have the lights? Yeah, yeah, headlights, tail lights, brake lights on it. Um, it was in a closed cab, it didn't have seat belts on it, but he didn't, he didn't have no sticker, you know, on the. Right, the city sticker. Front, which, there's a lot of them here that's, that don't have. I, I oh, wish we had somebody that we could see something identified, like, you know, license plate. I know we can do that, but a sticker, we could have to put on there or something that's okay, you know, that's in compliance. We can make them have a sticker on the side, you know, put it on the side of the thing. You know, uh, you know, 
know, of course, a lot of them are crossing when they should be crossing. <coughs> Have you ever wrote a ticket, though, on a golf cart? I mean, honestly. Not yet. Just a lot of warnings. And most warnings have stuck. I mean, I'm not seeing them back at it or a company. But most times they're used within the neighborhood. Yeah. Uh, from neighbors to neighbors type thing. Well, I just want to bring it up because we were talking about it and it was kind of worrying me a little bit there. But maybe, like you said, we don't need to have a knee jerk. Like Charles said, we don't have a knee jerk reaction. Let's just go ahead and do it like we did. Let's go with that. See how it works out. I wonder if we impounded one or two of them, though. That might straighten people up. I don't know. You got to remember, I'm, I'm a 70s child. When you use the bad word, it just automatically makes me want to do something I should. <laughs> <laughs> Go get a golf course. <laughs> I got, got one. Yeah. Hey, when they, when they said there's no man guns, guns, I went and bought three. So I, <laughs> <laughs> you got to eat it to try. Yeah. And that's, that's against our regular our ordinance anyway. Yeah, that's when I think... If we get, take them to the CDW... I guarantee you CDW is not going to do a thing. Okay. So that's kind of where you get into that. Well, that's what I'm saying. What if we impounded the cart, you put the kids in the back of the police car and took them home, and we take the cart down here and we lock it up for 30 days? I'm not sure we could lock it up for 30 days. Or about that, maybe. Could we? They're We're breaking the law. We could break the frame. They'd be the one locked. It, but just like the record charge, they could impound it until they pay the record bill. And they could keep it for a year if they didn't pay the record bill. Mm. We'll try anything, but the thing that we'll get into, probably we'll get into, is just like, remember what we, at the park, when the park started popping, and we tried to get a record to come and tow the vehicle that on the grass? Right. Uh-uh. Yeah. Well, they didn't let them want to tow them. Mm -hmm. No, we had one that would. But. Well, we had one that would. He was ready to go. Just like, whoa, I'm going to do that. Well, let's see how this plays out. Yeah, we'll just see if we can't take care of it and run to the house once or twice and say, hey, don't be back out here. I had to see the little girls back. They were back in on the beds. And they were over here. You make sure you had the blue lights on when you take them home and bear it so far out. Was that one where there were two carts running together? No, it, it's been. There were two. Been two or three years. Ago. There were like eight girls come by on two golf carts, like one right after the other, and I know they were all together. That's been about a week ago, two weeks ago, maybe. And I wondered where they came from, because yeah. I didn't know any of the kids. Well, and the thing to think about, because uh, my understanding is there was an accident not too long ago with there a was. golf cart and a car. It wasn't in the city. Duval Road. But we ended up working. It was. Uh, Wayne Neal. There have been several major mm -hmm. golf cart accidents, oh, yes. death uh, in the Tri County areas. The one not it's that long a, ago. A, a, a baby a was killed. One McLean County. Yeah. Yeah. A but it was one that right. taught me was killed. He was on a <coughs> utility yeah. vehicle. Same right difference. Further, kind of Get down the road. There. And she yeah. hadn't got way off in the yard. They're by the cemetery? By the Frank right, Cemetery? Wayne Neal. I don't know where Wayne Neal lives out there. I don't know where it's Wayne Neal. Uh, it's one of the girls there. It's his one of the Wayne Neal. It's next to where Frizzell's live, I think. Yeah, that's where, that's where the Slag Cemetery's at. Yeah, it's right, it's right in that area. Well, anyway, the little girl was supposed to be in it over in the subdivision. Green Meadows. She went way out of Duval Road. Duval Road was coming back and was over on the wrong side of the road. And the little, little girl got over in the yard enough and just kind of scraped down the side. And then the guy tells me, oh, I think my homeowner's insurance will pay for it. I'm like, not that bad. I don't think so. That's all I had. I was just going to... We'll just play golf cart for here and we'll, we'll see if we can't get, okay. get them to the house and tell them, hey, if you're out here again, we're just going to talk to them. We'll try that. Okay. We'll try to take care of something. 
Because regardless of what we do, whether we well with this ordinance or with yeah. an outright ban, it's it's the same thing for you guys. I mean, oh, yeah. it's they're still going to enforce it. Yeah, yeah, it's they're still going to. Once they start doing it, then well, they were doing it. That's one reason we kind of did this because a lot of them were doing it, and we were trying to at least get it where we could come in and be checked and uh, stay safe. But then now you, like I say, you got everybody that's 10, 11, 12 year old running them. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 That's not the golf cart that lines up over at my house, whole lot, is it? Okay. <laughs> I have one. We'll, we'll just deal with it. Like Charles said, let's not have a big knee jerk reaction yeah. over right now. If we can't take care of it. Two things. One, like the paving that we were doing. I know I talked about the. That bad hole out there in front of Beard and Bill Supply, and then you, somebody was going to have them do it when they did that cut in front of Lonnie's? Yeah, uh, the cut in front of Lonnie's somehow was kept over. Uh, the hole in front of Beard and Bill Supply was patched a day or two after we had discussed it. Oh. So. Is there a way to get that? Because that's rough back there by Lonnie's. That may be one of the streets on the list. I don't know yet. So uh, he gave me a big long list and itemized and everything. And, when I was cutting some of them, they were pointing out. I don't know how I didn't see it, but I accidentally cut it off. So, oh, the patch? Yeah. yeah. That was my fault. And then, just more for information, <coughs> anything else, the tourism committee, their sounds on second starts Friday night. <coughs> and, um, live music on Friday night through the month of June and July. Okay. Have you got anything? I did get a sign. Um, Terry Bagger had brought me a, a plat. Dr. Allen. And I'm not real sure. I guess we're talking about the one of the alleys, aren't we? Mm -hmm. uh, the plat is between 2nd and 3rd Street. And um, there's actually two, there appears to be two alleys. And it's not clear to me which one we're talking about. And one problem we now have, even on quick claim deeds, um, where the alley was, it was platted as a part of the city, but there's never been a street, which means there's never actually been a dedication or a deed. And in general, we've always done that by quick claim deed. But the more recent rules with regard to deeds and filing of deeds is you've got to have a source of title. In other words, the city's got to be able to explain what the basis of their claim is that somehow the city has, has an interest in this. And um, first of all, I, I, maybe Larry can explain to me which one of these alleys we're talking about that that to give a quick claim deed to him on. Uh, he did bring me a plat, but it doesn't have any uh, width of the alley on either end on it. Uh, it does have the calls on the sides, but it doesn't tell it doesn't say how how wide it is. And um, I, I, at some point I guess I'm gonna need to know where this what old subdivision this came out of. I think the alley that, sure. he, that he was talking about was Kevin Likens had built a building. Yeah, it's got they come, they come built on, on part of that alley. And normally, what we do in the past is we give half and half to both right. properties. So I think He's since Kevin had that. taken up the biggest portion of that alley up to his corner, Terry wanted the rest of that portion. We were still going to do half and half, but he was, Kevin was going to get the whole one here and Terry the whole one here instead of each of them getting half. And it would be the alley between East 2nd and East 3rd. Has there already been a deed made to Kevin? No. Okay, I can talk to Larry about this. That, that's, that's what happened. Usually we split them in half like that, but somebody built on 
the, the neighbor's half. You're going to give, you know, five foot and five foot, but since Kevin built on it, we're going to give him the full 10 foot for 200 feet long or whatever, and the other 200 feet here is going to get the full 10 foot. Okay, you can show me. Is it a visible alley? <coughs> Larry? I have nothing. Oh. oh. Nothing. Everybody's good? No closed session? No. Wow. Oh, I'm, I'm going to come to you too. Mary, I, do you have anything? I just need the uh, first reading for the amendment of the sanitation increase and that uh, water increase for ordinances. Okay. I move the increase in the sanitation. Second. We have a motion and second. Any further discussion? When was the last time this was done? Sanitation was in 2012. Yeah. When was 16? Yeah. Yeah. Sue was the last. Yes, was 16. One was 15. That was water. That was the water. So that's been taken care of. I mean, sanitation was done at the same time as water in 2009. Okay. But we're still less expensive than any of the commercial, yes. commercial companies, so it's still a good buy. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify by the aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. And the next <coughs> one is the 2% on the water. It'd be, okay. a, it'd be a, a dollar increase on the minimum bill, then a 4% on all the breakers. 4%, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'll make a motion. We'll do the water increase. And second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify by the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. There we go. That was it.